Hello, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. Today I'm making a smaller version of the file folder notepad cover. This particular cover is designed for, as you can see, four by six inch memo pads. I'm making these for a fundraiser and I wanted to try making the smaller version. The first step is I used um, folders, file folders, and they're the regular size file folder. The first step is to trim the file folder to nine and a half inches. I'm using this particular paper cutter because it's a little bit stronger when cutting through two thicknesses. You can use your cutter B cutter or any other paper cutter. After you cut this at nine and a half inches, you'll open up the file folder and then I'm going to slide it back under and you'll want to cut from the lowest point on your file folder. File folders vary, the positions of the tab will vary, so you always want to line it up with the lowest point and you can't see my scale up there, but this right here is two and three quarters of an inch. So you're going to cut that off. I'm going to, then you've got your You've, you've got your cut and then you're going to turn it around from the opposite side and I'm going to cut this an inch and three quarters and once again I'm doing my cut from the narrowest part, not the top of the tab, but from the narrowest part and let me line this up at one and three quarters. So those are the cuts that you will be making. Now, the next step is you'll want to make some score lines. And this is the normal folder where it's, where it's folded, the file folder main fold. You're going to open it up, and then you're going to measure a half an inch from the left of the fold and score this at a half an inch. And you can use a bone folder. You can use your score pal. I use my cutter B when I'm doing it. So it's a half an inch from the fold. Then you're going to measure from the left side and you're going to score at ten and a half. And you're going to score all the way down. And you're going to score at eleven inches all the way down. And I'm going to hold that up a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see that I've already scored that. The last score line will be at three and an eighth. So you're going to score all the way down this line at three and an eighth. Here's an example of all of the score lines completed. Then you're going to fold it up and then I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure I've got a really good score. And this is the main fold again and this is half an inch from the fold. This score is Ten and a half inches from the left, and this one is eleven inches from the left. The final is three and an eighth inch in this direction. Okay, now they're all pressed in with the bone folder, and once you finish that, you'll see that you have a rectangle in the bottom right-hand corner where your ten and a half inch score line meets your three and an eighth inch score line. So what you're going to do is take a scissors and cut up to this line and then you're going to cut over. And I have an example of one of those that's already finished. So you've got that rectangle cut out. At this point, you can use a heavy duty double stick adhesive here on this just right there. And you can also use one here that will form the pockets. What I did in making mine is used a very heavy glue stick, glued it down, let it let it dry for about an hour and then you'll fold it up and there will be your finished product. Now let's decorate the, the front. I used when decorating this particular one, I used all basic gray papers and the first thing I did is cut the paper on the left flap an inch and a half by five and three quarters of an inch. And you know, each one will vary a little, so you may want to just measure it again. You could be off a sixteenth of an inch, so be sure to check your measurements. Then on this page, what I did is I did five and three quarter inches long by four and five eighths. 
To decorate the front, and I'm going to be making a lot of these, so I wanted to make them quick and easy, I used the Cricut Cartridge Pagoda. I cut the Pagoda flower at three and a fourth inch, and then I used a, a layer and a contrasting color. I had a small daisy punch, so I punched the center out of using the daisy punch, and just a, just a small rhinestone. I like to use basic gray magnets for this project. They're very, very thin and they're very, very strong. So I put a basic gray and they already come with self-adhesive on the back. Put a basic gray magnet and it was finished. I'll show you the, the other one. Everything is cut the same except here I use the Cricut George cartridge and I cut out a three inch George flower and I used the outline and then I layered it over the top, as you can see, of the regular George flower. I punched a circle for the center of it with one of my circle punches. You could use a George uh, cut on your Cricut as well. Had a rub on. And then I really liked the bling on this one because I thought it was just fun. So I added rhinestones to several of the flowers. And it was finished. They're just so quick and easy. One of the fun things about making the smaller version of the file folder notebook covers is that you can use file folders, decorative file folders. This one I'm going to use and use like a black satin ribbon instead of a magnet closure for a closure. And I purchased this at Staples. Our Staples has a bin of different patterns and you can buy them individually. I purchased these from Target and they were in a packet, but I think it's just going to be so fun for spring to use to use the colors. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I, I want to thank you for watching and please check out my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com for more videos and project ideas. Thanks again.